Hello friends, today's most important current affairs, current issue is that there is war between Russia and Ukraine. Ukraine was part of the USSR, Union of Soviet Socialist Republic. So 1989-90, the USSR break away. So there are 15 republics, they all got into liberation. So Russia is most important and superpower among them. And Russia, there is a sentimental uh, closeness between these all countries because they lived after the November Revolution, that is 1917 onwards or 20 onwards when the communist ideology came up in the world and USSR came into picture. So there are a lot of history, lot of economics and lot of politics, everything is involved here. Now there was Cold War. The Cold War between the USSR and USA was also there. So that Cold War and many competition among the uh, world leaders at that time happened. So there is one organization at that time, that is NATO. NATO is North Atlantic Treaty Organization, basically to safeguard the Western world's military super superiority over the, uh, the USSR. So these are the facts, historical facts. So today, if you concentrate on more as a civil service aspirant and higher competitive examination aspirant, so this single fact today will help you to analyze the whole world's international relations and economic relations nuclear deterrence and many other facts. Now with this wire, the wire is not at all good. This wire basically gives lot of suffering to the human beings, lot of property and lot of um, things gets destroyed. The total economy gets devastated. So why this wire has come? Now there is only one military organization NATO which is expanding near the US, uh, near the Russian border that is Ukraine was trying to join to NATO which is basically objected by Russia and this war has happened. Now think that uh, as a journalist expert and the civil service aspirant you need to go for analysis of this all facts. Now today's world there are a lot of economic organization like um, this NAFTA, North Atlantic Free Trade Agreement between the USA, Canada and uh, Mexico. Then there are also UNDP, then United Nations Development Program, UNESCO is also there. BRICS, BRICS is basically Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. Then ASEAN, ASEAN. So these are the organizations, ASEAN. Then SHARC, SHARC is our South Asian Association of Regional Cooperation between India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bhutan, all these countries. So this economic cooperation basically helps for human development and it brings the prosperity, peace and prosperity in the world. Then if military organization, that is a block, that block basically hinders the development of the uh, human beings. So our human civilization is most important goal is peace and tranquility and prosperity of the people. Now, if NATO, NATO increases its power, so automatically there will be a lot of problems in the world for the security of other countries. Like here, if we should know the relations between India and Russia, India and USA, India and Ukraine, and how the Indian, um, uh, India is acting in this kind of scenario that as civil service, aspirant as IS aspirant, all we should know and every citizen also should know how this uh, will affect the whole world. So we don't want this kind of things. But as a citizen now what is happening, we should go through this, we should understand this and how we will safeguard our interest, our people's interest. So this every issue will come up. So I believe that uh, with this kind of um, situation uh, how um, uh, you try to know and acquire your knowledge history geography politics international relations so this will basically help you a lot 
So please concentrate on the current, this kind of affairs, try to analyze and go in detail how these fall facts happened in this world. So thank you very much. In our next episode, we'll be talking about history and geography, politics and other things also. So thank you for watching this video.